follow-up call on a foreclosure. Let's see what's happening. What is happening? All right, we got a three bedroom, one bath. Foreclosure auction date of February 6th. Feel like they owe about 50,000 uh, with like minor repairs. They wanna sell ASAP. It's owner occupied, it says here and they owe 50,000 and they want to sell for 50,000. So it sounds like this person wants to sell for what they owe on it, but it's only one way to know for sure. Let's call them up. So we're about to call Miss Alma. Let's call Alma. So don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, give it a like, give it a share if you care. Please leave me a message and I'll return your call. Thank you. Uh, so she didn't answer there. I'm going to call from the number she actually called from because I'm calling from a different phone number. So she might not want to answer. So I'm going to call from the office line number two and see if we can make it do what it do. Hey, Alma, this is Chris. You spoke to my assistant earlier about your house on Labity. How are you today? I'm fine. Um, is there a way I can call you back or you can give me a call back in like 15 minutes, maybe? Yeah, that'll work fine. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you. So we're going to call back in 15 minutes. And uh, what I'll do is I'll pause this until then. <clears throat> 15 minutes later. Hello. Hey, Alma, this is Chris calling you back about your house on Labity. Yes, sir. Yeah, did you have a few moments now? Yeah. Yeah, I was just trying to get back with you. I'm actually the buyer here. You had spoke to my assistant earlier about the house on Labity. Um, I'm just trying to see what's going on there. What can I do to help? Um, it's being, well, up for auction February 6th. People got to be paying behind in mortgage payments. Because of COVID, custody battles, divorce, a whole bunch of shit. So I got no money. Oh, wow. So you asked, uh, I'm telling you. So okay. that's the reason. Yeah, so that makes sense. So Not because it's in absolute disrepair or anything. It's a regular living house. I live in Earth currently. But life has happened again. And life is like, I'm difficult. Hey, Chris, yeah. I can definitely understand that. And I'm here to help in any way I can. Have you already found a place to move to and everything or? Yeah. Okay. Well, that's good. Um, so yeah, we are definitely interested. I was just trying to figure out uh, what was like the main thing that you were trying to accomplish? What's your main goal? If I can get my, uh, pay off the uh, mortgage to the bank. So it's fucking off. And, and you, and about how much did you still owe? I still owe like 40, Nine thousand. Did the bank give you any kind of options or anything as far as um, bringing along current or anything like that? Yeah, I don't have it. Oh, what did they say for that part? How much did they say you have to bring? Uh, to bring me back current, I would need like six grand. Six thousand. Yeah. Okay. Plus their attorney fees and all of that stuff. Okay. Oh well, yeah. Okay. Yeah, they always the attorney fees. We gotta throw some junk fees in there, right? Yeah, so um, I'm trying to see here, um, and you say you have an auction February 6th. Yeah, we can definitely uh, help you out with this. And so you're looking to sell it for what you owe on it, is that right? Uh, I'm, yeah, I'm trying to get about 50000 Okay, so if to they're- make, To make sure it covers, like what I owe, I think 50000 probably be 
like it. So if there was a way we can get um, you know, 50,000 or the, the loan balance paid off and you're able to move on to another place and everything, that would be uh, satisfactory for you? Yeah. Perfect. All right. Um, and you said the house is, uh, there's no major repairs or anything that's needed when it comes to that part? Um, it, it's like the roof is old. Um, I, I never replaced the roof when I bought the house. The lady couldn't tell me anything about the roof. And it, uh, so like the roof and gutter as well as that. No major repairs. Uh, um, yeah. Okay. And so is it leaking or anything on the inside or it's just older roof? It's an older roof that like when there's like a sudden massive downpour, like uh, the dining room, like where the splashing is because the bay window in the dining room, like it may leak a little around there, but again, it, it's not every time it rains, it's when it's so sudden heavy downpour. Okay. So if it's a bad rain, it's potentially going to come inside the dining room unless that part is repaired. Yeah. Okay. Not a problem. Uh, and so, in the event we were able to get you that, what you needed, fifty thousand, you'd be ready to get the process started today. Yeah. Okay. I have a, a real estate agent, uh, Stacy Clark, who uh, I'm working with. Find more leads than you can even process. That's multiple listing service. That's the MLS for you real estate agents. Absentee owner information. Find the cash buyers and flippers in any market nationwide. Pull a pre-foreclosure list. And don't forget, you got to find those comps. Get nationwide access with multiple filters powered by PropStream at WokeSource.com. Get your seven-day free trial today. WokeSource.com. That's WokeSource.com. Uh, and so in the event we were able to get you that what you needed 50,000 you'd be ready to get the process started today yeah okay. I have a, a real estate agent uh, Stacy Clark who uh, I'm working with so like that wouldn't be an issue okay how's that been going for you did you list it with her or something I guess or? it's a guy and uh, yeah he's he's um, now doing the real estate agent thing. I don't know. That's not my job. Right. Well, we typically don't necessarily work through agents. We typically just buy straight from the homeowner. But, you know, if you have an agent, that's not a problem. Uh, do you have a listing agreement with him or something? Or is it just they're just helping you out? Yeah, he's just helping me out. Um, do you uh, well, to just buy straight through me? Just to buy straight through me, what do you need from me? Like, what do we have to do to just make the process happen? Uh, a purchase agreement, uh, just saying that we agree to buy the house for what uh, what you owe on it. Um, so we have two different tr ways we can help you here, um, depending on which way you would like to go. Um, one is a traditional cash offer, as you know, you're know you familiar with, where we just buy the house. But I don't know what that number would be. Um, I'd have to see what that would be. Uh, the other option is to just buy it for what you owe on it. And the way we would do that is typically just go through the title company, just like any other transaction. The loan would stay in your name. We would catch that arrears up of $6,000 and make sure you're able to you know, move on to another house and not have to worry about this house anymore. Do you think that would help you out at all? Um, yes, up to do the cash offer. How long does the process of that take? Uh, usually, uh, our, so general rule of thumb is about two to three weeks, but you have about two weeks now. Sometimes we can't put a rush on it to get it done sooner. But like I said, a cash offer may be lower than what you owe on it. I'm not sure yet, to be honest. But if, if you are able to do the more creative option and leave that loan in place, we can catch that loan up and buy it for what you owe on it and solve the problem pretty easily that way. Okay. All right. So what do you have to do? Run some comps and get back with me? Yeah. So what I would do first is just check out, uh, you know, it, so which one of those options you think will work best for you? Uh, probably the second one, if it's more money than just a cash buyout, because it is three lots, it is listed as one address because there's only one house, but it is three city lots. It's a combined property of three lots. It's not just one city lot, it's three city lots. Oh, wow. So those are just vacant, the other two? No, so on one side, okay. So like I said, three city lots, so three, three, three rectangles. The middle rectangle has the house and the parking pad. One of the rectangles on the left side is just open yard. 
and then the rectangle on the right side has a double garage, detached double garage. Oh wow! So it's all one place, but it's on three lots. Yes. Okay. It's one address, but it's three city lots. So it's not just one city lot at fifty thousand. It's three city lots. So potentially three parcels of land to redevelop whatever the hell. It's. So it's not a shitty deal by far, and I want to not accept a shitty offer. No, that's right. So we want to make sure you may have heard the saying the fortunes are in the follow up. Now there's a brand new system that is great to help you code call, text message, drop voicemails and so much more all automated. You don't have to remember anything. Just set it and forget it. All you have to do is speak to people. Check it out, WokeReply.com. It's a multi-touch marketing campaign where you can schedule to send text, voicemail, email, and even live calls all on autopilot. Check it out today, WokeReply.com. That's WokeReply.com. At 50000 it's three city lots, so potentially three parcels of land to redevelop whatever the hell it is. So it's not a shitty deal by far, and I want to not accept a shitty offer. I know that's right. So we want to make sure you're satisfied with everything and it's a smooth transaction for you. So uh, so the only thing I would need now is, uh, do you have the latest or the most recent mortgage statement? I do not. I am, I'm actually not at home and I don't have a way of getting it current. I guess you don't have a login where you can print it out or something or screenshot it. No. Uh, let's see. The only other way, um, and it's totally up to you. So we have. Like, I can do. I can get it, but I, like I said, I'm not at home. Just not that. I have to do it from my home computer. I'm. I'm. I don't do things like that for myself. I know that's right. So yeah, that's the only thing we would need to underwrite the deal from that part, from the creative side. And uh, once we have that, or you, you say you pretty much know the number. So you say it's 49,000 owed. What is the monthly payment every month? The monthly payment is four, uh, uh, it's between 440 and 450. It's, it's, it's a thousand there. Okay. And that includes the taxes and insurance? Yes. Okay, so 450. Uh, do you know what the interest rate is on the loan? Absolutely not. Right, no problem. So we can figure that part out. Um, so that would, uh, what I what I will do here is I will send you, you know, an actual offer in writing so you can look it over. Um, if you're ready to move forward with it, we get you a purchase contract today and uh, we can get this thing behind you. Uh, we, we will still need that mortgage statement though before closing so we can underwrite the deal fully. But outside of that, I don't see anything that would pretty much prevent a deal from going through. Let me give you my email address and you can email me whatever it is you need to email me and I will take a look at the mortgage statement when I get to the house. Are you ready for my email address? Uh, perfect. Are you able to text it to me? Uh, yeah, to be at this number? Yeah, I'm going to text you right now. Let's see here. Boom. And you can just reply back to that text with the email address and then I can uh, I'll get you everything from there. I like to get it by text because okay. I don't want to misspell it. You know, people got some crazy emails out here. <laughs> I totally understand. Uh, okay, not a problem. Any I'll, questions? I'll get back, I will get that to you in a few moments. Any other questions for me before I let you go? No, not at this time. All right, thank you. All right. Bye-bye. Dang, -bye. Right. when they're so motivated, you don't know what to do next. So $6,000 in arrears, she'll sell it for what she don't want it. Take over the payments, four fifty dollars a month. Sounds like a pretty good deal. I mean, it's a kind of rougher part of town, but people live there and somebody would love to live in this three bedroom, two bath house. What do you think about this? Post in the comments below. What would you do with this? Would you buy it? Would you put it under contract and try to wholesale it? What would you do? I mean, take over a house for six grand? Let me see here. Auction is February 6th. There's a little bit of a leak in the, on the flashing. Not a major thing, I don't think. But hey, somebody gonna give you a house for what they owe on it. Plus six thousand dollars in closing costs, maybe seven grand out of pocket. Why not? And I may not even have to catch up that six thousand dollars if I'm creative and innovative. So hopefully this video helped you out. Give it a thumbs up. Give it a like. Give it a share if you care. Don't forget to follow me on all social media outlets at Chris Monroe STL. That's Snapchat. That's Twitter. That's Instagram. That's Facebook. YouTube. TikTok. Clubhouse. 
X fan base and all the others. Chris Monroe STL. Do what you do. Be who you be. And I'll see you before you see me. Hey, Chris, is that you? Damn. Damn.